everyone has the same problem. How should I spend my money? Or how should I spend my money to get the most satisfaction from it? There is a limit to how much we can buy, but there is no limit to how much we want. So we have to make choices. I love eating burgers and I love eating cookies, but the money I spend on burgers is money I could be spending on cookies. This is a problem for individuals, but also for any economic entity. For companies, maybe they have to choose between spending money on researching a new product or marketing an existing one. For governments, for how to spend taxes. Should they hire more police or more teachers? Even animals face this problem when they have to choose how to spend their time and energy finding food. We can show this problem on a simple graph. Let's say burgers cost a dollar and cookies are 50 cents each. If I have five dollars, then I can buy five burgers or 10 cookies or anywhere on this line between the two. This line is my budget constraint. I can buy anything on this line or any combination up to it. I could buy two burgers, two cookies and keep two dollars, but I can't buy anything beyond this line. I can change where the line is. Maybe I get five more dollars. So the line is now here. What I actually do is I make my own cookies. This makes cookies cheaper and now I can get a lot more for the same money. Learn how to make your own cookies folks. They taste better and you can get a lot more for your money. This is not a cooking channel though. The point is that there will always be a line somewhere and we will always want to get the best satisfaction we can with the money we have. In our last video, we looked at indifference curves. I'm just as happy with this combination of burgers and cookies as I am with this. And we saw one graph can show several indifference curves, an indifference map. To show which choice brings the most utility to the consumer, we draw their budget constraint and their indifference curves on the same graph. We can see that here, point C is the furthest out indifference curve we can achieve while still meeting our budget constraint. This is the best choice we can make. Or to be technical, the optimal constrained bundle is the tangency of the indifference curve and the budget constraint. If we're making the best choice possible, this is how many burgers and cookies we should get. Not everyone makes good choices so. Not all decisions are rational. And that is what we will look at in our next video. Thank you for watching this and if you enjoyed it, please like and subscribe, it helps the channel.